Welcome to the 25th lecture of this lecture series regarding international arbitration practice. We started off with our first lecture about 11 months back and posted the video of the first lecture on 25th January 2022. Chapter 1 of the lecture series concerned drafting arbitration agreements. We did 18 lectures on drafting arbitration agreements, avoiding pathological clauses, etc. Chapter 2 was about invoking arbitration. Lectures 19 to 22 dealt with invoking arbitration in international commercial arbitrations, while lectures 23 and 24 dealt with invoking arbitration in an international investment agreement. We continue to deal with that topic by providing a generalized checklist for invoking arbitration under the ICSID. The checklist that we present in this lecture contains more than 70 items and is based on the ICSID convention and the 2022 revision to the ICSID arbitration and related rules. The checklist is divided into 12 parts. Each of the items in the checklist is based on existing practices and the relevant rules. Before we go to the checklist, let us briefly discuss the convention. The ICSID is the International Convention on the Settlement of Investment Disputes between States and Nationals of Other States of 1965. It established an International Dispute Resolution Institution of International Investment Disputes. The institution was established in 1966 at Washington DC. It has a secretariat and a panel of arbitrators and conciliators. The total number of signatory and contracting states is about 165 there are three routes of arbitration under the aegis of the ICSID one is the ICSID arbitration two arbitration under the ICSID additional facility and three unsettled arbitration under the ICSID this lecture and the next few deals with ICSID arbitration that is the first item An ICSID arbitration is governed by the ICSID convention, the ICSID institution rules and the ICSID arbitration rules. In addition, it is also governed by the ICSID administrative and financial regulations. Chapter 4 of the ICSID deals with arbitration. Section 1 of chapter 4 contains a single article that is article 36 which concerns request for arbitration. It states any contracting state or national of a contracting state wishing to institute arbitration proceedings shall address a request to that effect in writing to the secretary general who shall send a copy of the request to the other party the request shall contain information concerning the issues in dispute the identity of the parties and their consent to arbitration in accordance with the rules of procedure for the institution of conciliation and arbitration proceedings the secretary general shall register the request unless he finds on the basis of the information contained in the request that the dispute is manifestly outside the jurisdiction of the center he shall forthwith notify the parties of registration or refusal to register as you would notice Article 36.2 deals with contents of a request for arbitration. These are information concerning issues in the dispute, identity of the parties and consent to arbitration as per the rules of procedure for institution, instituting arbitral proceedings. Now the ICSID has a set of rules known as institution rules. There is also another set of rules known as ICSID arbitration rules. on the subject matter covered in these rules the introductory note to the ICSID institution rules states the ICSID institution rules apply from filing of a request for arbitration or conciliation under the ICSID convention to the registration date of registration or refusal to register if a request is registered the ICSID arbitration or conciliation rules apply to the subsequent procedure so the ICSID institution rules applies till the registration of a request for arbitration or for that matter conciliation 
Once a request for arbitration is registered, the exceed arbitration rules would apply to procedure subsequent to such registration. Now let's get back to the checklist. The first part of the checklist deals with certain preliminary aspects. Rule 1, one of the exceed institution rules states, any contracting state or national of a contracting state wishing to institute proceedings under the convention on the settlement of investment disputes between states and nationals of other states shall file a request for arbitration or conciliation together with the required supporting documents with the secretary general and pay the lodging fee published in the schedule of fees. Thus, any person wishing to institute proceedings under the ICSID are to file a request for arbitration with supporting documents. This is known as a request. The request is to be submitted to the Secretary General of the ICSID along with a lodging fee. Rule 1 2 states that the request could be filed jointly or separately. It states the request may be filed by one or more requesting parties or filed jointly by the parties to the dispute. So this is serial number one of the checklist. Serial number two of the checklist is regarding the language of the request. Rule 2.1b states that the request shall be in English, French or Spanish. Serial number three of the checklist is regarding the structuring of the request. A typical notice or request for arbitration is divided into the following parts. Description of the parties including the claimants and the respondent state, factual background and in factual background preliminary aspects, claimants investments and host states breach of investment agreement, then uh, the damages to the claimant. Then comes dispute resolution and request for relief. The second part of the checklist deals with the introductory portion of the request for arbitration. The introductory portion summarizes the entire notice. Serial number 4 of the checklist relates to whether the request for arbitration is by whom and against whom. Serial number 5 states that the request is to be pursuant to article 36 of the ICSID. We have already covered article 36 earlier in this lecture. Serial number 6 of the checklist mentions that the request for arbitration is to be made to the secretary general of the ICSID. Serial number 7 seeks to briefly cover the specific bilateral or the multilateral investment treaty under which the arbitration is invoked. 8 is regarding whether the dispute arises out of a specific or a set or series of transactions. 9 requires you to mention briefly about the claimant and its business. 10 discusses whether the claimant subsidiary was the one which was involved in the transaction in question or its execution or performance which resulted in the dispute. So again serial number 9 requires you to mention briefly about the claimant and its business. For example the claimant was involved in so and so business. Serial number 10 discusses whether the claimant subsidiary was the one which was involved in the transaction in question or its execution or performance which resulted in the dispute. Often the, uh, the claimant may be based in another country but for the sake of investment the claimant may uh, uh, incorporate a company or any other business entity in the host state. Serial number 11 states how the transaction came to be. Here you could cover how the offer, negotiation, acceptance and signing of the contract if any took place and how the investment came to be. Serial number 12 discusses how the performance under these agreements took place. In 13, you could discuss briefly the acts of the host state or its agents that led to the impairment of the investment and violation of the investment treaty. In serial number 14, you could discuss the substantive rights of the claimant guaranteed by the investment treaty that have been impaired or violated. So, so far we have just completed 14 out of a list of more than 70 items in the checklist. More on the checklist in the next lecture. Now, as regards references, if you are totally new to Exit, you can start by having a look at the Wikipedia page on the 
International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes. The link is provided in the description to this video under the heading References. Now, read the latest version of the ICSID conventions, regulations and rules. In 2022, there was a massive exercise of updation of the rules. This compilation contains the latest of those rules. The ICSID website contains a detailed guide to file a request for arbitration under each of the arbitration routes. Have a look at the link to the set page. Happy learning and season's greetings.